Good morning, I'm Jim at Pals. Uh, today I'm going to go through and show you what goes into replacing a window on a restoration project. Today, if you see laid out in front of you, it is uh, numerous parts for a 1948 Dodge that we're restoring. So what, what happens is the cars come in, they're old, they got glass, you know, the glass on these things, they start to come delaminated. As you can see, this is laminated, they call it laminated glass. It's actually two sheets of glass with like a rubber rubber membrane in between them. And they get older, they start to separate and they start to stain and do that, which also weakens them and causes them to crack. So you can't have that in your industrial door car, it just wouldn't be right. But what goes into changing that glass, you have this item here, which is the window track that it runs on. This has to be restored, painstakingly restored. It had to be taken apart, cleaned up. These were all scratched and scored. I had to restore, take this thing and completely disassemble it, restore, you know, re clean and polish up the old stainless and replace all the, all the felts and seals and then reassemble it. And another part that goes into that is this. On this vehicle, it's got vent windows. As you can see here, the vent, this is an older vent window. This one off the passenger side before it gets the new glass and restored. This, they are all pitted and rusty and, and starting to delaminate like that. This is, the one, this is the one I restored for this side that I'm working on. All the chrome's been repolished re and cleaned up. The glass has been replaced. And as you see, it's in this beautiful piece here, which was restored by a company that we deal with that does it all correctly and did all the wood grain back. We would polish all the chrome and put it all back together. And included with that, had to replace all this rubber seals and the felt trim. So it's not just a plug and play thing. And on the exterior of the car, you've got the stainless steel trim. This is a stainless steel off the driver's side. As you can see, it's all twisted and scratched up and scarred up. And it's got a lot of rust on it. And it's got a lot of adhesive on there that has to be removed. And of course, it's got to straighten it up and remove the adhesive. But you also got this thing here, which is like the felt trim that was on this. This is... This is a new felt trim that I had to fabricate because I didn't have the right ones for it, which will be going on this piece here that's already been polished up. This is this is what they look like when they come off. They're just nothing left of them, all rusted. And them are, them are fastened on with old type of staples through stainless. It's, it's a kind of a pain in the butt to change. So what happens is we... You clean it up, you end up polishing it up, and you get what come up, you know, get all the dents and dings out and polish it up, and you get the ear. And then, of course, I've got to fasten this to here, and then we'll have a brand new trim piece again so I can install it back together. So, as you can see, it's not just as simple as changing glass. So, on an average, for this vehicle, it's taking me about between six and eight hours to do one door. So if you ever have any questions about how things are done in the restoration field or anything, get a hold of us at PALS. We'll see you soon.